Mike North here with Anthony Marnell III, the pride and joy of UNLV, and the man who created uh, this wonderful, wonderful, I don't even know what you call it, property. They call it a property in Las Vegas, the M Resort. And uh, I got to tell you, Anthony, first of all, congratulations on this wonderful, wonderful place. Thank you, Mike. It's it, a special place. It is a special place. And I noticed some certain things. You have not only uh, rooms here, but you have a lot of great restaurants and stuff like that. But I noticed a place where you get gelato called Baby Cakes. And there's an interesting story. As I walked in there the first time, there are murals on each end of uh, the establishment of a child on each end. Can you explain that one to me? Yeah, Baby Cakes uh, is what I call my daughter. Okay. So she's my baby cakes, and when we built the hotel, I wanted to create uh, a homemade bakery, pastry, gelatos, and everything's made here fresh at the hotel. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, and everything's miniature when you walk in there. You know, there's lots of cakes, there's, there's pieces of pie, there's cupcakes, mm -hmm. uh, and gelato. And I said, you know, I think the right name for this is baby cakes. What are you proudest about? It, of this wonderful establishment. For the folks out here, when you get into the airport in Las Vegas, you usually, a lot of people take a right and go to the Strip. Yeah. You take a left and come to the M Resort. This yeah. is Henderson, Nevada, if yes. I'm not mistaken, right? You know, we are on Las Vegas Boulevard. Mm -hmm. We're the farthest south on Las Vegas Boulevard that you can actually have a gaming establishment. So hopefully, you know, over the next couple of decades, you'd see that fill in and grow. I think that's on that's on hold for quite a while yeah. right now. But, you know, thinking long term, I think that'll happen. Yeah, they have a, a, a fabulous steakhouse. They have a wonderful breakfast place. How many restaurants on the establishment? Well, there's six, six uh, main restaurants in the hotel, and then there's you know two or three other what I call you know the deli. That we right. Don't classify those quite as an outlet or banquets or room service, but six main six main restaurants. I know that your father, for uh, people that don't know, uh, Mr. Marinell, if I may, owned the Rio. Yes. And uh, you decide to follow in his footsteps. Did you lean on your father? Did your father say, "Hey, you got to do a little, got to try to get out of this on your own," or did you guys work together? When I, when I went to him, I said, look, I, I had a software company uh, uh -huh. that I had started 10 years ago. I actually just sold that company to IBM 60 days ago. Uh, I said, I want to get back in the gaming business, and I want to build a hotel. And he, he was great. He said, I'll, I'll support you any which way I can. I'll help you design it. I'll help you build it. But I don't want to own one piece of it, and I don't want to operate it. And I did that. I don't want to do it was again. There any, like, do it. Was there any like financial considerations that were asked for? <laughs> I mean, uh, No, not really. Not really. I mean, he uh, we kept... I'm sure he would have been there for you. Yeah, but. he would have been there, but we kept the relationship. Uh, you know, he, he was the architect and the contractor. Was it important was you did this on your own? Uh, it was, you know, but I, I wouldn't say I did it all on my own. You know, right, MGM, nobody does it. I yeah, know, and MGM was a big partner here. You know, there was a lot of help and assistance from a lot of different people, both financially, uh, as you know, as well as emotionally and guidance. But uh -huh. what we really got the chance to do, which I don't think has ever really been done in this town, is that the father and the son. I had worked f with him and for him for many years. Mm -hmm. Then when I started my own companies, we were kind of colleagues. And then I actually got to hire him to come work for me. And it was a really good father-son experience for a guy who's designed and built so many wonderful buildings. Mm -hmm. What I did is I, I retreated back to what my core values were for operating a gaming business. And what I wanted to make this place known for, which was service, great food, great experiences and that was what I focused on as far as being snappy yeah I think there's times when you're sure. on, when you're on edge but I've got a great 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 wife and three beautiful kids and I will say I had to focus when I went home on you got to leave that at the door besides uh, building this property what's the one thing you're proudest of and what's the one thing you might say I'd like to change about the property most proud is this is the team that's here mm -hmm. and, the, and the service that they deliver there was some really tough times publicly mm -hmm. you know in the newspaper there's always this uncertainty uh you know people talking about buildings closing and things that they and that seeing. hurts and that hurts when you're trying to do anything with a property yeah, doesn't it, it it hurts the morale of the team sure. they you know their lives are uncertain they're not quite sure and man did they did they really gel and rally together behind this brand and what we were trying to create the architecture is timeless you know it's not aging at all it's just it's, it was this oasis in the middle of the desert, and I think it's going to remain that for a very long time. One of the great pools, got a great spa, got six major restaurants. You have beautiful, beautiful rooms. We have a suite that's second to none, ladies and gentlemen. So I got to tell you, Anthony, it's been great to, great to talk to you again. I Thank met you, you a couple years ago. Uh, being a fellow Italian, my wife's full Italian. I'm half Italian, half Irish. I want a drink. I just don't want to pay. I got to tell you how <laughs> proud we are. Uh, of you and uh, and what you've done and I, you. I think you, you look in the mirror every day you come to work now and you run just a fabulous uh, fabulous property and thanks Thank for you. joining us. Thank you. Pleasure. Thanks Anthony. Anytime. Appreciate it.